Hey, it's Dakota Rea, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm bringing my little egghead to come and show you some wigs that I've tried out from Amazon. So I wouldn't call myself a wig connoisseur, but I would say that I wear wigs pretty much at every opportunity I can apart from work. Um, I make drastic and terrible decisions with my hair and regret them very quickly turn back to the case of wearing wigs constantly and for a long time it was really something I was self-conscious about because no one really wore wigs and it was really hard to find wigs that were good quality and affordable and weren't clockable so for the past I'd say year I've really been wearing wigs quite a lot I like the fact that I can just get up do my makeup chuck a wig on and I'm ready and I don't have to spend an extra hour doing my hair and they look cuter than my actual hair, so um, most wigs I get from Estelle Wigs and More on Instagram, um, so I will link them down below in the description. But today's video I wanted to try some Amazon wigs because, because I feel like so many people do videos on Amazon wigs and part of me feels like they purposely pick the bad ones so that it's like clickbaity and so they can be like oh my god this wig's terrible I wouldn't buy wigs from Amazon I want to genuinely see if there is decent wigs on Amazon because I don't want to waste my money I want to be able to say to people oh yeah I got this wig from Amazon and it was only such and such and also I want to wear it I want to enjoy having a wig um I don't have many wigs so I really want to you know try some different styles see if they look cute and um, see if I can make them look natural so that's what I'm going to do in today's video yeah just get stuck in so I ordered four wigs um, different lengths different styles and different colors because I wanted to kind of have a variety of stuff to try out um, I did also Get a little curl comb and um, a little um, feather razor thing um, because I watch a lot of Brad Mondo videos and when I'm cutting my wigs I don't want to make a mess of them because effort of trying to do it again. I want to get it right the first time and I saw that he um, talked about one of these razors. Now the one that he linked in his description was American Amazon and he wouldn't let me buy it so this was the next best thing. Um, and I also still had Prime, so it only took like two days to get here, which was great. Um, Prime's now cancelled, I can't afford that shit, so here we are. I'm just gonna go straight in, pick up the first one, and we'll try it on, see what it looks like. Um, I will also leave the picture of the list in here of each wig, so we can kind of compare what it looked like on and what it looks like on. So... I'm not sure because all the packaging is all different for them so I think I got two with fringes and two lace fronts now I normally avoid lace fronts I'm not a fan of lace fronts I don't know how to make them work um, I don't know how to cut the lace I've watched loads of videos and I can't trust myself to do it so I would rather just have fringes and also I've spent 95% of my life with a fringe so to see me with a middle part and just I don't think it suits me but anyways this is the first wig and it comes with um fishnet cap honestly I need to order some wig caps because the only wig caps I have are the ones that come with the wigs um I like these ones better than the fishnet ones but hey ho um this is what we've got it's in like annoying netting stuff uh oh it's stuck in my fingers it feels weird um wow okay this is like really soft i mean is it shiny is it shiny it's hard to see because i've got like real bright lights right here i can't see because most of my wigs are very like dark brown black i feel like that's just a safe bet for me with me having dark eyebrows and naturally dark hair so i wanted to keep it safe but, oh, also a point I want to mention, finding wigs, right, I don't think I have a massively small head. I think I have an average size small head. But trying to find wigs that fit my head is frustrating because on the inside of the wig cap where they have these little bits, I literally have to cross them over so they're like crossing over inside the wig cap because they're just too baggy on my head. And I don't think my head's that small, but anyways, 
This is the first one. I don't know if it was this shot on on the um, Amazon listing or I don't know. I mean, it was only a few days ago, so like, is my memory really that bad? Um, but it's kind of got like a natural hairline. It's um, it looks like those. Um, I don't know if you can see. Um, but it's not one of those horribly thick plastic caps that you sometimes get um, where it's supposed to look like a natural lining um, but it's um what do they call them full full head cap is that what they call them it's not lace front anyways so I'm gonna chuck it right on I don't have a mirror with me so <laughs> I suppose I should probably see what I'm doing oh I'm gonna have to finesse this little what is this? <laughs> what is this? Um, curtains. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a side sweep or what. We're gonna try and make it work. I don't want to cut them just yet. I just want to kind of show what they look like. I need to see what the original listing picture shows so I know how to like style this. Okay. Okay, so I've got the list in. It looks like she's wearing it as a full fringe. That's what I would wear it as. Obviously, they cut the bangs along so you can cut them yourself. Um, oh, keeps poking me in the eye. Uh, um, yeah, this is going to take some finesse. <laughs> Let me just get a mirror. So I've pulled the wig cap quite far back just so I can sort of get the fringe to sit where it really should be um honestly i i i think this is going to need washed and blow dried down because it feels like it wants to separate like it feels like it wants to naturally sit like that which is fine um i'm not keen on these kind of middle patterns for myself i don't think they suit me i think this color is quite uh light for my complexion i think um it is kind of looking wiggy on me, I'm not going to lie. I think that's because of the colour and the way that the fringe is sat. But quality wise, I will say this feels um, like other wigs that I've had. That's fine. I do feel like though it would look better on me if it was straightened and it didn't have these like weird curls because it's kind of given me um, suburban kind of mother vibes and that's not me um also the color i'm really not sure on myself it's um i've never seen myself with hair color this light it kind of almost looks like it's got a copper tone to it um which i'm not quite sure of either this wig let me just get it up this wig was 23.99 well that was on sale 28.99 was price and price I bought it at was $23.99 um, and they also have three different colours one a dark brown which really in hindsight I should have got one that's kind of like a grey tone and then this one I think in fact I think I got another one similar to this but darker anyways <sighs> on to the next one next one in the bag so I tried to get them from different um, listings because I wanted to see um, what different companies had to offer um, and just try different styles so um, I think there's also different price ranges so I will find out how much each item costs okay so this one's a short bob wig okay okay see I did want to get some short wigs because I have a few long ones and honestly I get so annoyed because so if I'm on a night out or something, I'm just like, oh, I just want to whip this wig off because it's so long and it gets so like knotted and stuff and it gets really frustrating. But um, this one has a butthole pattern, um, which I don't mind so much, especially if it has got a fringe. I don't mind so much because my natural fringe does actually start quite far back. So, um, but the I feel like the the actual um, wig cap itself is smaller than the other one. Um, like I said, it was a different brand. This one, fifteen ninety nine. Wow. Okay. I mean, this feels just as good as the quality of the other one. Um, I guess there's not much difference um, price wise though. 
Um, but it's sitting nicely and I like how it's got like that natural um, curve to it. it. Means I don't have to do it myself. Okay, this feels really nice. Like this fits nicely. It's not too tight, although I do have it on the tight setting, so. <sighs> Once again, the fringe is definitely gonna need cut, but it is a lot thicker this time, which gives me hope. I don't like a thin fringe. Let me just comb that out. I do like that the fringe is longer than it's intended to be, so you can cut it yourself because I like to experiment with different lengths. Um, but this is kind of giving me oh, Lord Farquaad vibes, um, and that's not what I was vibing at all. Um, I mean, it would kind of look cute behind it, yeah, would it not? Would that kind of. Yeah, I definitely think. It's gonna need a little something something with the fringe. That tag is really annoying. I'm pulling it off. Go. Out. From what I can see, bear in mind I have a tiny ass mirror in front of me and can't even see my whole head. This. It's cute. It's cute. It's cute. It's um not too thick, which I naturally have quite thin hair, so I prefer quite a small density wig makes it feel more natural honestly i think this is gonna look better on me without this little um can i speak to the manager haircut um if i just straighten it it might look cuter which i will do i think it's cute oh my god it's just made me think of that vine where it's like when you get a fresh haircut and they're like And you get a fresh haircut and you're like, I want to do everything like this. I want to show off your fresh haircut. Anyways, try the next one. Yeah. This wig cap is falling off my head. Next wig. Oh god, I've got hair all over me. I think this is the same wig as the previous one. But in a different colour. What is the point of that? Um, you got a wig cap with that one. Comes in the weird net stuff. Get off me. Um, that out. Okay. It's got that weird curl. Oh, okay. It's came with an extra clip just in case, you know, you need that. I think it's the exact same wig but in a different colourway. I feel like I like this one more. I feel like it will complement my skin tone a lot better than the other one. I feel like that one was quite copper tone, this one. It's still warm, but um, the the lighter ends I feel like will look better. Anyways, I'm going to put it straight on. Like I said, it's the same all the way around um, as the other one, and the hairline is quite natural as well. Um, it's not that horrible thick plastic hairline, which... Oh, I had one wig with that, and I didn't even know it had that, because if it did, if I did know about it, I wouldn't have bought it, but um, sometimes they just get you. I feel like even on the tightest setting, it's still... I wouldn't say loose, it fits my head, I don't feel like it's gonna fall off, but... You'd think on the tightest setting, it, it would be a bit tighter. Um, definitely think this is the identical to the other wig, although it was on a completely different listing. Um, but... Is this one longer? Is it just me or is this one longer? And it's not doing that weird... I definitely feel like... Okay, it's casting a lot. A lot. That is a lot. What the hell? Ugh. I can make my own wig. Oh, oh my god. What the hell? Why is there so much hair coming out? Come on, there's got to be an end to this. Ugh. I'll hoover that up later. Um, once again, I do think I'm going to have to cut the fringe on this one. It is too long, but if I pull it back and we can fake the illusion. Um, man, I... 
See, the thing is with these kind of hairlines is that you can't bring more hair forward if you want to make the fringe the fringe thicker. Um, is it just me or am I sitting wonky? Is that hairline going off on a diagonal or is it just me? I think. I think this one might look kind of cute with um, like shaggy mullet bangs, wig fringe thingy. <sighs> Only thing is, once you part it, you are going to see your hairline and that's not cute. I feel like it's just wanting to sit over here, you know, and um, that is not cute trying to make this work i think i am gonna have to cut it maybe this would look cute with layers but honestly i don't think i have the skill set for that so i don't want to mess this up um but i think this was the same price as the other one that was quite identical 23 pounds 98 weird price um but yeah it was sold by a different company to the previous one with very similar. I would say that these are probably from the same company even though they were sold by two different people. Um, but it's nice. Time will tell though. Sometimes I feel like with these affordable wigs you wear a couple, wear them for a couple of hours, a couple of times and then they just start to get like almost like, um, you know when you get that like fake dreadlock hair and it has that weird um, almost like burnt hair texture. So I think We'll have to see how long these last, but I'm happy with them. I, I just think that the fringe needs a little something. So I've just straightened the wig and cut the fringe off, off camera. What a mess. So just want to put it out there. If you're going to straighten this or curl this or use any heat on it, please put it on the lowest setting because I have singed the fringe on this one. And it honestly feels so gross. There's no coming back from this. Um, it's all the way to the top as well so that's a problem um, second of all obviously this wig has been cut in the style for the curls because let me just show you so this is what it looks like from the back um, obviously as you can see it's not very straight so I'll have to go in with a razor and clean that up myself um, Quality wise, I I think it's a nice soft wig, although I have noticed that it does cast a hell of a lot. Like I'm constantly just pulling it out and pulling it out. I don't know how long this wig will last, but it looks quite realistic. It is soft, it's nice. I just don't know how long this will last. I feel like I have had better quality wigs and um, ones that I can actually style without singeing them so but that's on me for not obviously reading the instructions um, overall out of 10 um, give it a 7 it's not awful um, but it's gonna need some work obviously to straighten out these ends so they're not so jaggedy but yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It'll do. Yeah, stop. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to find some wig heads to put all these up. Right. Final one. Now this one came in a box, so... I have high expectations. Is this fancy? Oh, girl! I mean, I don't know how to put fake eyelashes on. I've only worn fake eyelashes twice in my life. So, we'll see about them. But that's cute that they just threw that in there. Oh, and it comes with my favorite kind of wig cap. That's amazing. Um, that box is cute though. I'm gonna keep this box for something. Ah, this is the lace from one. This is the lace from one. Oh man, I I don't know what I was thinking. I it's it's gonna be something. 
And I, I, I'm gonna have to find someone to cut the lace for me because I can't trust myself. I always end up messing it up. It has a weird smell to it though. I'm just gonna pull this tag off before it infuriates me. Get out. Okay. Okay. So I basically got two, four identical wigs just from different in different colours. It's fine. Um uh this is what the lace looks like. Which I must say that is believable. This one was $34.99. So this was the most expensive one. Um the hair feels the exact same quality as all the other three of them. Um but the actual head cap feels smaller. Um, so I have high hopes that this will have a nice tight fit to it because I don't want to feel like I'm going to lose my wig when I'm out dancing. Although apparently I am known to rip my wig off on occasions. It is what it is. So it's only lace front at the front. The back it's just these little things. So I'm not going to cut the lace yet because I don't want to mess it up on camera so but um in difference to the other wigs it actually has two clips on the side so hopefully we'll have a better fit that way but let's see oh my god okay wow um okay this feels a lot better fit it fits my head a lot better than all the other other ones Wow, oh, Lord Farquaad, move over. <laughs> Is he cute though? Do I suit this? I don't know. That hairline is, is something. I, uh, I need to learn how to cut hairlines. <laughs> wow, I don't know if this suits me. <laughs> this is weird. I've. I might cut a fringe into this, but I already have an identical one with a fringe. I don't know. So this wig had different colorways, I think. Let me have a look. Yeah, okay. So this one had a black to red fade, black to blue, black to greeny blue, which I almost got, but then I was like, mm, am I going to look like a Kylie Jenner ripoff? Probably. Um, then there's like a nice black to dark to blonde ombre effect. Um, there's one that's a dark to brown, and there is a completely blonde one. So you've got some colourways there. And then there's maybe like one or two pounds difference between all of them. This being the cheapest. I just got plain black. Is it black? I think it's black. Um, just because I felt like that would probably look the most natural on me. And I don't own any crazy colour wigs just for the simple fact it's like. How do I get this to match my wardrobe and to not look like a wig? This is this is the reason why I get mostly um, natural colours, just because I feel like I'm, I have more of a fighting chance to make them look more natural and um, less wiggy. But um, it looks like... Can these be baby hairs? Oh, we've got some baby hairs. Okay, gonna have to try and finesse that. I'm... I'm not very good in the whole lace front department. I only have one other wig that's lace front and I've completely butchered it and I'm trying to make it into a full fringe. Um, honestly, I might actually leave this. I think it's kind of cute. I, I don't know. Am I conscious about my forehead? I think this is why I don't wear lace fronts. But I mean, we could get some like cute clips. Um, maybe even some little space buns, that'd be cute. Um, I think the the bonus of having short wigs is that they don't get knotted which oh, irks me so much um, and the lace goes back to the front of the ear as well so you know if I wanted to I could you know maybe clip it back and you know have a cute little eagle ponytail moment thing um, I'm impressed I'm impressed I was honestly expecting the worst <laughs> I thought these were gonna feel really like fancy dress shop but um I mean at least it's styled now I don't have to do anything apart from cut the lace 
Um, maybe it'll grow on me, but I also kind of feel like, can I speak to the manager? That's the vibe I'm getting. I almost did get like a asymmetrical cut one and um, my partner was like, don't get that, you look like a Karen, so I didn't. But um, I'm, I'm impressed with this. Oh, and the uh, lace goes all the way to the back where my fringe would normally start. Um, oh my god, yeah. <sighs> Maybe this has converted me to lace fronts, who knows. Um, I'm just gonna flick that back to give a little bit of the illusion of what it will look like when I do cut the lace, when I grow the balls. <laughs> I think I've just got a forehead complex. If I, can I pull my little baby hairs out? Will that look cute? Eh, I'm just gonna have to cut the lace on her. I'm just gonna have to stop being a baby about it. Hold on, I will undo it. So I just ran downstairs to show my partner this little lace front number and get my um, hairdressing scissors that I definitely did not get off Wish years ago and they're definitely not blunt but um, I'm going to cut the lace now we're going to do it together so you can see me F it up because um, that's quite honestly what's going to happen right now I'm going to put it on my knee <laughs> or should I put it on my wig stand? my wig stands have got all wigs on now right don't mess this up I'm not going to cut too close I'm just going to cut enough so we can make it look quite natural. I'm about to cut the lace. Looks nice. Did you mind? That was disgusting. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. You got this. You say that about everything and then normally I do mess it up. Yeah, you have got it. I like the way you can see through it. That's quite Yeah, cool. it's called lace front. It's not. Right, I'm so nervous. I've watched so many tutorials on this. You got this. Ah! <sighs> okay, okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh God, no, I'm nervous. I've just made the first cut. I can't really see what I'm doing. Can you put the big light on? Ready. That made next to no difference, but thank you anyway. I'm nervous, I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. Oh, oh, you know that thing where like you're cutting, um, when you're cutting wrapping paper and it goes Yeah. That's what it's doing and it's making me very nervous because it's, it's cutting way too fast for my liking. I'm going to cut myself with the scissors. Right. Ah, I've only done one half of it. Right. Come on, we can do this. Be, by we I mean me and the scissors. This is why I need someone else here. Help me. Oh god, oh that was too close. Uh. I'm gonna have to go back in with tiny scissors to like neaten this up because it is a mess. Tiny scissors. Okay, let's just not talk about the lace because I have butchered it. <laughs> She's gonna need some plucking and some love and attention because I am not the woman for it. But we'll make it work. If not, um, I will probably cut a fringe into it and call it a day. Hmm. I'm just not very good at lace fronts, honestly. Give me so much anxiety. Uh. I mean, honestly, that's how far back my hairline is. Is that weird? Does that look better? It's giving me a five head. Listen, right. 
The previous clips you've just seen are probably two weeks old. Honestly, as I was filming it, it was really late at night, it was a train wreck, and I hate cutting lace. This is why I only get wigs with fringes, because I absolutely <laughs> butcher, butcher, butcher! I, I mean, I don't know, maybe it looks better on camera, I don't know. I don't even care at this point. The wig, right, let me, let me just rein it back. The wig itself, ugh, is actually really good quality. It's soft, the hairline is quite realistic, although we'll talk about that in a second. Um, and it doesn't knot. I think when it's a shorter wig, um, it's less chance of it knotting. I hate wearing long wigs and constantly have to comb through with my fingers to get rid of the knots. So that really bugs me. So I really wanted to try some short wigs. Do I look like a Karen? Yes, I do. Um, is it a big deal? No, I'm, I'm, I'm living. I think it's cute. Right, now this is my issue. My hairline... <laughs> starts at my eyebrows so this is the hair all pulled back and I watched like three different tutorials on how to cut lace and I was like yeah I, I got this I know what to do started cutting it and they were like leave a little bit of lace so you can glue it down if that was the case I would have to bring the wig <laughs> so far forward that it would look really wiggy because this wig goes out like this and my hair <laughs> my hairline doesn't start till here so i'm using my own baby hairs and i mean i don't even know maybe maybe this is what's making it look a little bit more realistic i don't know i've kind of gave up at this point but um i mean i was really thinking about putting like some space buns in it or something i thought that would maybe look cute i think from a distance I don't think you would clock it, apart from the fact I've got a massive forehead and that makes it look quite wiggy. But I wore this out to a barbecue the other day, social distanced one, you go on to keep safe, VV important right now, we're still in lockdown essentially. Um, and I mean, I don't know if I've just got nice friends that don't say mean things, but I mean I got, I, I got some compliments so I guess it's not all bad. Um, but then I, when I saw some pictures that I've been taking, I was like, mmm, that hairline. So what I have done, I've then gone in with concealer on the inside of the wig. Not on top because I didn't want to make the hairs go all blue. And um, tried to pluck a little bit at the front and um, just kind of make use of my own baby hairs to make it look realistic. I think just putting a little bit behind the ear. Um, obviously I need to glue that bit down. Let's not talk about that. I'll we'll just put a little bit of hair there. Um, if I put a little bit behind the ear, I think it kind of looks like one of those um, cute little asymmetrical bobs, which I think suits me a lot more than this um, can I speak to the manager haircut. This this wig was really a um, out of my comfort zone and I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it, but I think, I think, I think, I think it was a real cheap ass wig and honestly I was expecting the worst but I think I finessed it, I think it's cute and I, I don't feel self conscious about wearing it out um, and you know it's all the same length all the way around so it gives me that nice professional look you know if I was going for um, I'd maybe wear this if I actually had a job interview because my hair right now is honestly <laughs> it's more of a car crash than me trying to do these lace friends let me tell you but um, overall Blabbering aside, I think it's cute, um, definitely more of like a casual um, wig for me, I think it'd be really cute. I will say it does not cast a whole lot, I've not noticed much casting but that could just be because it's short. Um, it's a nice thickness as well, like I was really worried about getting this wig because I was like oh usually wigs are really quite dense and naturally I have quite thin hair so I didn't want it to look really overly voluminous and wiggy. Um, I think the shape of it on the top is okay. I think it could do with a bit of, you know, texture at the top, give it a bit of volume so it doesn't feel like such a, a pea head. Um, but overall, honestly, I was really not expecting good things um, from previous hauls that I've seen of Amazon wigs. I'm really happy with this one. Um, so I'm gonna go and put the other wig on and I will show you what I have done with that. And how it looks. Wow. 
I'll prop up a picture of what this wig is supposed to look like. I straightened it. Low heat girls, low heat because I singed another wig by putting it on too high. Um, right, quality. Let's talk about the quality. It is nice and soft. It's a nice colour. Um, it's not too thick, although this fringe is so thick that it took me forever to cut it and honestly it's still not even straight I had to take like, I think the wig fringe was like down here I had to cut so much off still need to cut so much off I even went in with thin and scissors to just like make it less blocky um, it's still not straight um, and it's just so thick, I don't know if you can see from the side but like compared to the rest of the hair, this fringe is just so thick the, I think that's what's making it look so wiggy and the fact that it's got this stupid little butthole pattern <laughs> um, when I did straighten it, which it doesn't even look like I've straightened it now because it's kind of like curled at the ends again and it's looking like some Lego hair situation um, so <laughs> it's not even cut straight right I'm gonna try and turn around and see if you can see the back and I, I don't know, I don't even think it's straight so like when I'd straightened it I could see loads of like long bits so like the all of the hair would be here and then there'd be like a couple of like long chunks of strands there so I think the reason why it was kind of um, curled was because they didn't have to worry about like making sure the wig was straight it was like oh we'll just curl it and you won't be able to tell if it's straight all the way along so I would keep that in mind if you are planning on straightening this wig but if you like the previous style which I'll put the picture up here if you can see that um, then I mean the previous style was cute I liked it it wasn't me and I really wanted just like a straight block Lego hair because I feel like this is kind of the the hair look that I often go for um, it it's 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 comfortable um, honestly, I think the thing that's letting it down is like, it kind of, um, sticks out a bit more on this side, I don't know if you can see that, and also this silly little butthole pattern, like, honestly, I, I don't know how, I think this is maybe one of those, like, wear with a hat wigs, um, <sighs> I don't know, the colour's cute, the colour's cute, it feels nice and soft, I think I just need to keep straightening it because these ends are... Whoa. <laughs> um, I'm not mad, I'm not mad, I think with a little bit of finessing we can make it cute I honestly want to turn this into like a little mullet wig, I think that might be cute um, So I might do that in a separate video um, if you guys are interested in that Honestly cutting wigs is so stressful for me like just to cut a simple fringe probably takes me like four hours because I'm like sat there watching YouTube videos on how to cut the hair, usually Brad Mondo's and I'm there with like three different pairs of scissors um, I'm stressed I'm, I'm just man it's just a whole process and it doesn't even look cute <laughs> if I come back to this wig I'll do a video on it and um, you guys will see what I end up doing with it I really really want a mullet and I'm, I'm trying to find the, the best YouTube tutorial on how to cut a mullet on a wig myself um, because I'm scared of going to the hairdressers. Honestly, I'm just really embarrassed about going to the hairdressers and be like, yeah, can you just like cut this wig? <laughs> um, so when I find a video or if you find if you guys know a video, please leave um, a comment down below so I can find it and then I can do something with this wig. But overall, I'm not mad. I just think like the fringe is just so thick that it's just added to the bulk and this butthole <laughs> is letting it down. But I can't remember how much it was, I'll leave the price. I think it was like 15 quid, so if that's the case, I mean, it, it's better than one of those like Halloween wigs that you get. I'm happy, I'm happy with it. It could be better, it could be worse, but for the price, it was more than I was expecting, so I'm not mad. Now we're gonna go on and put the other wigs on and I'll let you know what I've done to them and what they look like. Okay, so for this wig, I haven't touched it. I don't want to touch it. This is so not my colour and I don't I don't think I'm going to keep it. 
I think I might just stick it on my Depop because I think I've passed the returns date by now. Um, I think this is the same style as the um, dark to blonde root one which I am going to keep and I have cut the fringe and everything on that one. Um, I just don't want to touch this one because it's not my colour and I think someone else can use this and cut whatever length fringe they want. Um, I feel like it naturally just wants to kind of sit in a in a side pattern. Um, it's a good quality wig, like I said, I think it's very similar to the Dr. Blonde Root one, which I am going to keep. Um, it's nice and soft. If you are going to use heat on this, please turn it down to the lowest setting because I frazzled the fringe of the other one um, and I don't want you guys to do the same. So I think, um, yeah. If this was straightened and the fringe was put in, I think it would be cute. Um, it's just not my colour, so I don't really want to do anything with it. I want to leave that up to whoever I give this to or if I stick it on my Depop. But um, the wig cap size is nice and tight. Um, I think the pattern is quite natural, although I think if you wanted a, a deeper pattern, you could probably pluck some of those hairs out to make it a bit more realistic. But overall, I think it's a really nice quality wig. Um, I will say it sheds a lot and that's something to know. I felt like every time I was like pulling my hands through it there was just like more hair <laughs> um, falling out of the wig so that's definitely something to mention. Um, and also if it's anything like the Dr. Blonde, Dr. Blonde one um, then it when straightened it is not the same length all the way around and it does need trimmed. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you are wanting to straighten this. But I think you could give it a light curl all the way through, give it a bit of volume and um, cut the fringe and I think it would look super cute. And um, for the price, I mean, real good quality wig. Um, I'm not mad. So yeah. So this is the dark to um, blonde root wig, um, very similar to the um, copper toned one. Um, like I've mentioned a million times, I did absolutely butcher <laughs> the um, fringe when straightening it. So please remember to put it on the lowest volume on your straighteners and curlers if you are one to style this wig with heat. Um, I will say this casts so much. Um, it's all over my bedroom floor, which is annoying, but I mean, it's a cheap wig. Um, I will also mention why I don't know like the wig cap is on properly where it should be but the hairline is like going off on an angle so I don't know what that's about um I I think apart from that that's what's letting it down apart from that and the fact that I still haven't properly finished off this this fringe because it's still all different lengths and butchered it. I think the wigs okay. All the wigs had a little bit of something that was a bit wrong with them but honestly I think all of them were below £35 so I can't complain. I think um you know some I definitely will wear and some I think I just need to do a bit of work on and um make it a bit more wearable for me. Um but yeah if all fails I can just wear a hat over it and call it a day. <laughs> wow um I don't know what to say. I'm I was expecting the worst, honestly, and well, this fringe really is the worst. Apologies. Um, I don't think it was that bad though. I think there's definitely some uh, <laughs> issues on some of these wigs, but I think we can we can resolve those issues and we can finesse these wigs and make them look somewhat wearable. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I'm not mad. I don't feel like I wasted my money. I think I've got some okay wigs. And um, I don't know if I'll be trying again. I feel like I kind of scoured all of Amazon for the wigs I want to try. I think a lot of them were very like pastel bright colours which is not my vibe and I wouldn't ever wear them so I don't think I would review them. I do kind of want to try wish wigs. Um, I don't know. Let me know down below if that's something you want to see from me. Um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. I am going to leave the website to the wig company that I buy all my wigs from, Estelle Wigs and More, down below. I love them, I'm always really happy with the wigs that I get from them and um, I do actually have a wig very similar to this one from them which is so much better quality and the hairline isn't wonky and I think was only 
60 to 70 pounds and I love it. That is going to be in another video so stay tuned for that. If you want to see how I did this makeup then I will leave that linked up here and until then guys I'll see you in my next one. Bye!